Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. Dynamic change in the history of Aternum last night as the citrus-hating zealots of Waffle House convert the citizenry and claim the perpetually torrential region of Morningdale. Following the fight, Waffle House retired to begin recovery. However, a mercenarial representative had these words to share. Yeah, Waffle House... Waffle House is actually uh, able to compete and be, uh, you know, one of the top performing companies on the server. Being able to uh, beat against Fresh Bench and HBM, you know, it's kind of a pretty big deal. See, uh, Covenant's on the rise, right, for the spark. There's a lot of players who want to win, want to get in the war scene, because, you know, if you uh, ever read the data, it's only about, like, people who, only, who usually get in wars are, like, the top one percenters of the PvPs. You know? But, uh, there's a lot of good players here, and, uh, a lot of people getting rotated in. Rackets, uh, Army Waffle House, being able to give them a chance to war, and there's some, uh, really good players out there. And, you know, it's just, it's just all experience. That's what it is. The more experience you are, the, uh, the better you're getting. You can see, you know, Waffle House is definitely in the map, so. Two territories. Looking for a third. Well, is there anybody out there who might have stood out in their performance tonight? Yeah, I want to shout out uh, Akina and uh, Burke Thoros. Like, I think uh, we had a really good group in helping out Waffle House tonight. And uh, yeah, the rest of Waffle House. KOTT News would like to remind its subscribers and those who are about to be that the Season 4 Eternal Frost Experience concludes tonight. So be sure to get those last minute rewards and achievements completed now before it's too late. Reports from the Shattered Mountain, as the train run through Mirkard observed an unusual number of corruption gathering their armies. Volunteers are requested to answer the challenge by defending the fortifications from corruption invasions across 40% of the island. Three more submissions for simulated fantasy combat resolution tonight. Brought to you by LARPCO. Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it it's cardboard with special thanks to the craft services crew if you'd like to support kott news patreon is currently the best way tonight the marauders of pharma assail the covenant hero worshipers of outcasts for control of the crocodile abundant marshlands of the southern cutlass keys pharma seeking to secure a freshwater sanctuary for their good buddy chompers and recapture the ceremonial mosh pits for wrestling around in two. The double declare meta catches outcasts divided between their defense here and an offense elsewhere, but where they will focus their attention is unknown. Meanwhile, the covenant hero worshippers of outcast assault the syndicate members of Fresh Bench for control of the master fishing and shrimping region of Reek Water. In their offensive effort of the night, Outcasts give it another go against the members of Fresh Bench as they continue to crack away at their defenses. But Fresh Bench fights fresh every fight, well rested and ready to defend the fort with fences, funneling their foes into specific locations around the objective. In the nightcap, the syndicate members of Tropical attempt to top the citrus-hating zealots of Waffle House Company for crown and kingdom of the Western Monarch's Bluff. The members of Tropical are still trying to learn how their rival is able to keep standing up with all the scurvies, but they have been enjoying the great skirmishes attempting to get on top. It's not quite a secret anymore that Waffle House has reached a level of combative readiness to compete with any great house of the island despite their scurvies. It must be the spice-infused batter. We'll have any late-breaking outcomes and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.